Okay, very good news for Retrobat users out there. We've just had a recent update, and the recent update is for Retrobat version 7.2. Now, for those of you who's been following my Retrobat videos for some time, you've obviously stayed around and you like hearing about Retrobat still. For those of you who's new to the channel, then I'm going to leave the playlist for everything Retrobat that I've covered so you can take a browse to yourselves. But anyways, let's take a look at Retrobat 7.2. And I'm going to go through the process of actually showing you how to update Retrobat. So what we're going to do first is just head over to Retrobat.org. And if we go down to download Retrobat, and here we go. So if you don't have Retrobat, then you can download it, a fresh version that is right just here. Retrobat version 7.2. So just download that. And what we're going to do next then is just take a look at the change log. Now we can see just here version 7.2, if we just scroll downwards, we can see that we got some new emulators and cores now added, such as the DICE emulator, we've had added the Eden emulator, we've got some new updates there for previous emulators, which has always been on there. And we've got some fixes, as we can see. So we got some Medifin fixes here. We got Citron emulator fixes, and so on. Even some Techno Parrot fixes there, which is quite useful if you're using Techno Parrot through Retrobat. We got some new features just here, Libretro, so that's RetroArch itself. We got new features for Dolphin Emulator, as well as the awesome Duck Station 2. And we got other stuff just here, so that's going to give us some new features too, and some error fixes. So next up, what we're going to do is actually show you how to update Retrobat. It's very simple, so I'm actually using a slightly older version of Retrobat. So if we just open this one up... And here we go. So if you've not yet updated, then you should find a pair on your Retrobat screen update available. And here we go. So we've got update available 7.2.0 stable. So what we need to do to update this then to the latest release is just press the enter button on the keyboard or even press your start button on your controller if that's what you're using. And from here, we can see at the bottom of the main menu, I'm actually on version 7.1.0. So what we're going to do then is just go down towards updates and downloads. If we enter into this menu, and from here, just make sure update type is set on stable. I never recommend beta, especially for new front-end users. So make sure this one's on stable. We're going to go down to start update. And we're just going to wait for this to do its thing as per usual. And you are currently using version 7.1. Do you want to update to version 7.2? Yes. And here we go. So top right hand of the screen, we can now see it's updating Retrobat itself. Now, please, 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 but just make sure all your important files and all your games and everything else is backed up before doing this. Otherwise, we're going to get a lot of people saying they've lost data, they've lost save files, blah, blah, blah. So just make sure all of your important files are backed up before doing this, just as a precaution, and you don't want to be losing things. And once everything has been updated and ready to go, what we're going to do next is just quit out a retro bat. It's very simple to do. So if we just OK this and I'm going to open up the main menu and just go down to quit. Next up, I just need to open up retro bat again to finish the update process. And there we go. So if we open up the main menu again. At the bottom, we should now find Retrobat version 7.20, which means it's fully updated and we can continue using Retrobat. And that's it for today's Retrobat update guide. So please take care whenever updating Retrobat and just take my advice. Don't end up losing your save data or your games or whatever. Just make sure everything's backed up. And please don't cry if you find things are missing because you've not taken that precaution. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.